something special to our lives. It may bring the information we need to close out a business deal, or it may bring a warm feeling from someone special. Families rely on telephone calls to keep them in touch. Businesses use telephones to make new sales contacts and place orders. Government agencies depend on telephones to reach people in different parts of this country and abroad. And we all run for a telephone in times of emergency. Special telephone hotlines connect major capitals of the world. And commercial systems accommodate dialing persons overseas almost as easily as dialing persons down the street or calling any of the nearly 150 million phones in the country. So you see, the telephone plays a vital part in everyone's daily life. Perhaps you'd enjoy working in the industry that makes it all possible. Several million telephone calls are made in the United States every day, and this total is expected to increase in the future, as the telephone system is used more and more by men and machines, since telephone companies also lease data and private wire services to businesses. For example, telephone companies are responsible for most of the cable and radio relay systems that connect the networks of thousands of TV and radio radio broadcasting stations all across the nation. Behind this service that Americans have come to take for granted are more than one million workers. Oh good, I was afraid I might have missed you. There are operators who make connections, assist customers and give telephone information. Telephone craft workers who install, repair and maintain assorted telephone equipment. Clerical workers who keep records of service, prepare reports, and send out bills. The industry also includes business and sales representatives, various kinds of professional workers who keep operations running smoothly, and workers who maintain buildings and vehicles. These are the workers of the telephone industry. Maybe there's an occupation here that's right for you. The workers most readily identified with telephone service, the operators, make up about 26% of the industry and most work for the telephone companies. Approximately 85% of all local and long distance calls are handled automatically, so operators are assigned to run sophisticated equipment and are given specialized assignments. Directory assistance operators look up and provide telephone numbers. Other operators may be asked to locate an individual, reverse charges, or indicate the cost of a call. 
Operators may also be needed to contact agencies in an emergency, such as the police and fire departments, assist a blind person who is unable to dial, or arrange a conference call for business executives in different locations. Experienced telephone operators may be promoted to craft jobs and may advance to such supervisory positions as service assistants who train and assist new operators and help complete difficult calls. Some telephone operators also advance to the position of chief operator who is responsible for planning and directing office activity. Another group of operators run private switchboards for business offices and other establishments. In many small firms, these operators may also serve as a typist or a receptionist. Opportunities for advancement in some of the smaller firms exist, but may be limited. Training to operate these private exchanges usually lasts a few days and is given on the job. New operators at telephone companies usually train for one to three weeks with the equipment, handling practice calls before they're assigned to regular jobs. Men and women interested in becoming telephone operators should have clear, pleasing voices and like to serve the public courteously. The nation's lines of communication are put up some of the most talented workers in the telephone industry have jobs in the central offices. These workers particularly must be adaptable to rapid changes in communications technology. Central office equipment installers assemble, wire, adjust, and test complex switching and dialing equipment. They may install equipment in a new central office or add new equipment in an existing office. Many of these workers are assigned to areas that include several states, and therefore they must travel frequently. This equipment in the central offices is kept functioning by central office craft workers who make the changes when phones are installed or removed and maintain the switching equipment that automatically connects lines. Other central office craft workers study reported trouble spots and work with persons who will make repairs. The ability to cooperate with others is essential for most telephone craft workers, since teamwork is often needed to quickly solve complex problems. Another requirement is keen eyesight. Good color vision is needed to interpret the color codings. Of course, craft workers need office support and clerical help. There are several kinds of clerical jobs. Central office clerks keep payroll and attendance records and make up work details. Directory clerks are responsible for preparing names, addresses, and numbers for new telephone books, noting changes and corrections, and keeping lists updated. Many clerks type, but they may also operate equipment such as key punch machines or computers. Other clerks serve as receptionists and cashiers. Nearly one-tenth of the industry's employees are business and sales representatives who sell new communication services and equipment, directory advertising, and handle requests for installing or discontinuing telephones. Diplomacy and courtesy are important in these jobs, and the people who fill these positions, some of whom are promoted from within the company, are chosen for their personableness, intelligence, and ability to communicate well on the phone. A growing percentage of the industry is made up of professional workers, such as accountants, personnel workers, public relations staffers, computer systems analysts and programmers, and lawyers. Many of the professional workers are in scientific and technical fields, such as draftsmen and engineers. Many top managers and administrators have engineering backgrounds. 
engineers plan things like new cable and microwave routes, and new buildings to take care of the needs of an expanding industry. The industry is so large that it needs thousands of workers just to maintain and operate its buildings and its fleets of vehicles. Workers in this category include mechanics, carpenters, painters, plumbers, electricians, and janitors, and guards. In the future, the need for telephone service will increase because of a rising population and greater demands for the transmission of computer processed data and other information on telephone company lines. But employment is not expected to rise as rapidly as service. Because of direct dialing and other technical innovations, for example, the number of operators will not increase significantly. Other mechanical advances will limit employment in such jobs as line workers. On the other hand, new technology is expected to increase the demand for such workers as electrical and electronic engineers and computer programmers and systems analysts. However, there will continue to be openings in telephone occupations all across the country, from large central offices in the middle of metropolitan areas to small services in rural towns, with companies that are part of a nationwide bell system, and with more than 1,700 independent telephone companies. Wages are comparable to similar work in the community. However, many telephone workers frequently receive extra pay for shift work or for overtime. More than two-thirds of telephone employees are members of labor unions. Working conditions are good in the industry, and its safety record is one of the best. Holidays and generous vacation times are among the fringe benefits, along with hospital and medical insurance, and pension and retirement benefits. While there are many openings in the industry for college graduates, most telephone jobs do not require any previous training or experience. Training is given on the job and at a continuing series of classroom courses. And it is the general policy of the telephone companies to promote workers from within their own ranks. A high school diploma is helpful in obtaining employment in the telephone industry. Experience in the armed forces and a basic knowledge of electricity Electricity may be helpful. For more specific information, contact your local telephone company personnel office. Your local state employment office can also tell you what job openings are prevalent in your community. It's also a good idea to talk about different career choices with your parents and with people who work in a field you think you might be interested in. Meet with your school counselor to get some help in learning about occupations and the education you'll need. Check out information on career fields from books in your school or local library. Get the facts about many different occupations so you can make the best choice about what you want from the world of work. favors those who are prepared. We hope this film and the others in the series will help you to discover what your life's work should be and will encourage you to prepare for it. <laughs>